when it comes to my piano there are now so many layers that a lot of people that are being introduced to it have no clue what a piano even is they simply know what they think it sounds like or what someone has said it is a fantastic way to get to understand a piano more is by following the right playlists that give you perspective and help you to understand the sound the hard part is finding those playlists can be like looking for a needle in a haystack where you'll probably have a hard time differentiating between average user playlists and those carefully curated for an optimal experience. This is where I come in to help you find those playlists much easier without all the legwork. I've done it for you. Buckle up, this is the no BS version. At number 7, we've got Ama Piano 101 by Spotify. This is the quintessential historical playlist to Ama Piano hits. You'll find a number of the biggest Ama Piano songs from as far back as like 2018 before the genre was anywhere near as big as it is now. Ama Piano 101 isn't necessarily a comprehensive list by any means, but it is possibly the best starting point in understanding the core elements of the wider sound and the songs that sold it to South Africans as their next big music genre. At number 6, I've got House of Ama Piano curated by Keisha. What makes this particular playlist really special is that when it started, it was one of the first Ama Piano playlists to pop up on Spotify. Hell, it could have been the first, I don't know before the wider Africa even hopped on the genre. It quickly became one of the first reference points for Ama Piano on Spotify. And it has grown since to be a well-rounded Ama Piano playlist with songs from all over the continent, including South African favorites, of course, as the originators, but it touches on so many Ama Piano songs from the continent, different countries. It's updated quite regularly to every few weeks, so you're always going to stay up to date. At number 5, Soulful Ama Piano 2024 Weekly Updates. This one is one of the best playlists to introduce you to the smoother side of Ama Piano, where you get talented vocalists and singers that will give you goosebumps. This playlist specializes in subgenres such as Soulful Ama Piano and private school ama piano. If you want to know more about these particular genres and which genres make up ama piano in general, I'll link to a video I did about a few of the genres up on the screen and in the description as well. So check that video out. It will give you a good understanding of how to differentiate these subgenres. Regardless of all the playlists on this list that I'm recommending to you, the Soulful Ama Piano playlist has some of the most dedicated and consistent curation across Spotify. Updates could be even daily sometimes. So it's really, really good just as a, you know, Soulful Ama Piano and Private School Ama Piano playlist uh, with top tier cu curation. At number four, I've got Skija Too Much 2024. This is the perfect playlist to understand a crucial subgenre in Ama Piano right now. Skija is essentially instrumental ama piano. That's what it was founded as. It has morphed into a far more EDME type vibe over the last three years, particularly. However, it's a distinct sound that continues to win a lot of fans. Interestingly, there are a lot of subgenres within Skija. There's like Mozambique, or some call it Beak. There's Harvard. There's Kidongo. There's Tegi, there's Stena, there's too much, a lot of uh, subgenres within this one. And it even has a buzzing DJ scene where they specialize in strictly Skija sets, which is super cool to me. Some of the biggest songs in the genre right now include Fede by Mr. Jazzy Q and Vigro Deep, huge song from this year. I think it was released around July or whatever. In 2023, you probably heard one of the biggest Skija hits ever released in Ye by Ulaz and uh, Infinity Music. And that song was the song that did all the damage with the infectious but technically challenging dance that came with it. This playlist is updated weekly and also retains the best songs for much longer, thereby introducing you to new stuff 
whatever is trending, and a look into all the Skija hits as well. Highly recommended. At number 3. Ama Piano Grooves by Spotify. This is one of those playlists that helps you to keep up to date with the songs making waves mostly in South Africa on the Ama Piano front and occasionally Africa and the world if the song is big enough by numbers, usually at least from an Ama Piano standpoint. This playlist is regularly updated, sometimes even up to every week, so it keeps you in the know when it comes to what's hot and trending at the time. There's a nice feel to the Ama Piano Grooves playlist, by the way, uh, being presented as a DJ mix with gapless playback and all that stuff, so it's a really good listen. At number two, I've got Ama Piano 2024 South Africa Ama Piano TikTok Hits by DJ Boat. This one is probably the biggest Ama Piano playlist on Spotify by numbers, and for good reason. It introduces you to a mix of Ama Piano hit songs, both current and older, thus giving the listener a unique one touch experience to the world of Ama Piano filled with familiarity and wow factor. So it's a really good one to sort of quickly go through what have been the biggest Ama Piano songs maybe in the last four or five years even. It is regularly updated and songs shifted around so every week feels like a whole new experience when you're listening to this playlist. And at number one, but before I get into number one, do check out my website. It's mjwemoto.com. This is where you can purchase all the merch that I've designed and created. Comes well recommended. mjwemoto.com. So back to the video. Number one. The number one playlist that I recommend you listen to on Spotify is Ama Piano 2024 Weekly Top Hits by Tatu Mukwena. This is the Ama Piano playlist you go to to understand what's actually trending locally in South Africa in different hoods and different cassis with artists you've heard and artists you've never heard of. The Ama Piano sound you get throughout this particular playlist touches on so many local styles of the genre so it can be overwhelming at first but this playlist will help you catch on to what south africans themselves are loving and listening to and it helps you catch on to that stuff real quick when it comes to curation as well this playlist is well curated daily sometimes and you know, there's a lot of research and understanding that has gone into this playlist for sure. And I highly recommend it for any Ama Piano lover, not even people learning Ama Piano, just anybody. Like this playlist is, it's fire, it's fire. Now, what makes all these playlists awesome is they provide you with continuity in listening and they are regularly updated, which means you will always stay on top of what's trending, which is always cool to know, when you're following types of music that you love. What other playlists are you following to learn more or keep up to date with when it comes to Ama Piano? Let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, that's it for me. My name is MJ Omoto, son of Zimbabwe signing out. Peace. Nden.